It's this morning's GMA on call. Americans consume 156 pounds of sugar per person each year. For the first time, the American Heart Association has published guidelines on added sugar. It's everywhere in our diet, and our chief medical editor, Dr. Tim Johnson, is here to sound the alarm. Good word. So it, it's affecting everything in your body, obesity, which leads to... Well, I refer to sugars as the triple threat, the triple trouble. First of all, they greatly in increase your calorie intake. Secondly, they have absolutely no nutritional value mm. of any kind. And thirdly, they displace healthy foods. You eat sugars and you don't want to eat anything else. You're satisfied. So it's the worst possible kind of food, to be very blunt about and it. And we're finding it in everything, as we know, under a lot of exotic right. names. Uh, if you go to a food label, what you want to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is look for words like this. Sugar, well, that's pretty obvious. Corn syrup, fructose, dextrose, molasses, cane syrup. Those are all sugars. Right. Corn and syrup is big one, sugar. Big, big, uh, absolutely. All right. The result of it is that we're eating how much a day and how much we should be eating by <laughs> Well, comparison. if we look at the pile, the average intake of added sugar, that is sugar that you add as you're processing or cooking food or at the table, the average is 21 20. teas teaspoons a day. A day. Yes. Okay. And the Heart Association is saying it should be 7.5 teaspoons a day, six for women, nine for men. So cut about it, a third of yes, what they cut well, it to a third. Yep, absolutely. And sodas are a giant culprit because they give you a whopping dose. Yes, single biggest uh, source of added sugar in our diets: 10 to 12 teaspoons, almost double what they recommend in just one can of soda. So one can of soda, and you have maxed out more than, more maxed, than maxed out, out what you should be doing yes. every day. Yes. Uh, and, and I'll point out, 14 to 18 year old boys consume about 35 teaspoons a day with all the sugary drinks. All they the added. Yeah, 35. That's sodas. What is that? Five times as much as they're recommending. Right. So give us some tricks for drinking other things, eating other things. Well, there's, of course, the best trick is plain I old know, water, right? Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> Sorry it's about hard. that. It is hard. Although you get used to it after a while, and you don't yeah. crave the other stuff. But you can take uh, uh, something like seltzer and add a little dash of orange juice, maybe. Mm -hmm. You can take plain water and add a little fruit slice, herbal teas. So you can take basically what amounts to plain water and jazz it up a little bit so it te uh, tastes better without getting all that sugar in it. And you've got cereal there because... Because that's the other main source of sugar, especially in kids' diets. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's everywhere. Well, uh, just take a hard look at it. I guess even if you just cut out half of what you're doing you've already big improvement big improvement improve. cut down your risk for heart disease stroke all the other diabetes yeah yeah and I, I remember you're saying after a while a matter of weeks you will not miss it so and the phrase to keep remembering with sugar is two words empty calories a lot of calories and they're worthless all right <laughs> thanks to Tim